так далі. Саме скажу нам щодо приймальної комісії, щодо нашої, наших прав прийому. Будь ласка, вам слово. Дякую, Сергій Іванович. Доброго дня, шановні. Звука нету. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to visiting lecture today. For everyone, to the room, you're about to begin, so please take a seat and make your support for the table. Yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Honorable Mr. Migunani Epcom, as the head of Information System Department. Thank you for all us from the Dnipro National University for inviting State Home University. It's a little place, sir, to have all of you on this memorable occasion. Okay. Also, I would like to thank Scott for getting us here in a visiting lecture program with Mr. Migunani to invite to the MPU case. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, we will start for this event today, delivered by Mr. Migunani. Yeah, for Mr. Migun, the time is yours. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ms. Novita. Can you see my presentation, Novita? Yes. Okay. Okay, good afternoon, Mr. Dimitro Melikov as an acting head international relation office from GNU Ukraine. Good afternoon, Ms. Novita, uh, Ms. February as an international affair from Stockholm University. Good afternoon, everyone. Let me to introduce myself. I am Migunani, lecturer from Stockholm University. I am the head of information system under graduate study program. Uh, today, I will explain materials about software quality. I'm very proud to deliver a visiting lecture at uh, Oles Honkar Dnipro National University on uh, Ukraine. I will first share my presentation. Can my presentation be seen? Okay. Okay, I will start with material about uh, software quality. Thank you. Це для авторизації чи все ж таки для реєстрації? Okay, quality of software. The quality of software is a field of study and practice that describe the desirable attributes of software product. There are two main approach to software quality. Number one is defect management, and number two is quality attribute. Okay. Quality of software. Quality of software rationally free of bug or detect defect. So quality of software is delivered on time and within the specified budgets meet requirement and expectation and can be maintained and reflect functional quality and structure quality. Okay, so my quality parameter uh, consists for parameter for software quality. The first one is functional quality, how well the software meets its design requirement and functional specification. Number two is structural quality. Structural quality addressing non-functional requirement such as robustness or maintenance and the extent to which they are properly manufactured. And number three is a software quality assurance, SQA. 
So Web Quality Assurance is a series of activity to ensure quality in the software engineering process. And number four is Software Quality Control or SQC. SQC is a series of activities to ensure the quality of software product. Differentiate uh, SGA and SQCU. SGA for a process and SQC is uh, for software product. Okay, let me explain uh, what is the difference uh, about product industry, uh, PS software industry. In the software industry, developer do not declare software free from defect. This difference is due to the complexity and feasibility of the product. Number one is product complexity. Product complexity is ensure no defect in the allowable number of operating models. In the product industry, hundred or thousand of combination of operation, uh, and in the software industry, more million of operating combination. So in the software industry is very complex for defect or error. Um, okay, number four is product visibility. In industrial product can be seen. So most of the defect can be de detected during the manufacturing process. While well, defect in software product on a storic media, so are not visible. Okay, software quality factor. Uh, this is a Michael model. Michael quality factor consists of three elements. Number one is operation. Number two is adaptation. And number three is revision. Operation consists of uh, five elements. There is a correctness, reliability, usability, integrity, and efficiency. And adaptation consists of three elements. Number one is portability, reusability, and interoperability. And the revision consists of three element, maintainability, flexibility, and testability. Okay. So my quality factor from my call model, the number one is uh, operation. Operation is software operating factor. Consists five factor to a software operating. Number one is correctness. Correctness is the level of correctness of the output. Number two, reliability. Reliability is service failure rate. And then efficiency. Efficiency is hardware capability to support for software uh, operation. Integrity. Integrity is a uh, safe using software. And usability. Usability is staff resource needed for operating the software. And number two is a product revision factor. Product revision factor consists of three elements. Number one is maintainability. Maintainability is a personal effort to identify repair failures and verify the success of the repair. And then flexibility. Flexibility is ability and effort to support maintenance activity. And then testability. Testability is testing and operation of the software. And number three is a product transition factor. Uh, this is same of uh, adaptation. Adaptation of, for operation software in the uh, company or organizational uh, product transition uh, consists uh, three elements. Number one is portable. 
portable is adaptation to different operating environment. Number two is reusable, reusable of software module. Module-module for software uh, developing at any time can use again for developing software future. So it's efficient to coding activity. Number three is uh, interoperable. Interoperable is interface adaptability to the system or firmware on other device. So in interoperability, software can use for different device like a PC, laptop, or a smartphone or tablet to use the software with adaptation for device well. Effective in interface uh, in UI and UX future. It is a sample for interface design for the quality of software. This is a part of quality of software to user. Number one is intuitive design. Intuitive design uh, is the user use his intuition in understand, understanding the use of the application. User can understand what is the software. Number two, screen area optimization. The screen area optimization is define the interface content display and input by the user. It's mean all screen area use optimal. And then display. Display is a factor in the frequency and time to user interact with specific part of interface. Okay, object in the form or interface UI UX. Um, very flexible, easily to use and uh, easily to manage by user. And number four is ease of navigation. Ease of navigation is component design must be easily accessibility or accessible using button like a tabs, a row, shortcut, or using mouse. Okay, and then controlled navigation. In user interface, control navigation is very useful. It is important to define the order in which components are accessed. So, uh, control navigation very useful to user. And then default value population. If it contains standard field, it is better to auto generate it. So uh, default fellow population always so in the form uh, for user to ease of use the value in the form of user interface. And then enter validation. Enter validation is to validate input according to a certain data type or format, like an email, time uh, or other format uh, input can adapt the format so user easily to use uh, to input the uh, value to user interface and then containing menu toolbar and help Manual toolbar and help uh, for ease to use the application. And then even handling efficiency. efficiency. Even handling efficiency so that the user does not wait too long for waiting the software to processing input. After that, uh, can 
result the output to user. Okay. This is a software quality standard ISO. So, uh, quality standard ISO 9126 is the International Organization for Standardization and the International Electronic Commission. Standard ISO, they define the quality of software product model quality characteristic and related metric used to evaluate and define the quality of a software product. In addition, ISO standard must also be met from a management standpoint. If the management does not meet ISO standard, then their work cannot be given an ISO standard certificate. Software quality standard in ISO 9126 Number one is functionality. Functionality is the ability of the software to provide function according to user needs and satisfy the user. And the reliability, the ability of the software to maintain a certain level of performance of the software. This example is accuracy, consistency, simplicity, and full tolerance for the software use. Number three is usability. The ability of the software to be understood, learned, used, and attractive to user. This is an example for ease of use to user by using the software. Number four is efficiency. Efficiency is the ability of the software to provide appropriate performance relative to amount of the resource used at the time. By example, is storage efficiency. Storage efficiency. Uh, most powerful to save data or information on the storage and efficient, uh, not large. Uh, need for uh, data and information to be saved on device. Number five is maintainability. The ability of the software to be modified. Modification include correction improvement or adaptation to change in the environment, requirement, and functional specification. Uh, for example, to maintainability is a consistency. Number six is portability. Portability is the ability of the software to be transferred from one environment to another, or the ability of the software to adapt when used in particular, particularly Example device where um, yes. okay. I will explain a functionality standard in the standard ISO. In functionality standard consists of four elements. Number one is uh, citability. The ability of the software to provide a citability set of function for specific tasks and user goal. And then accuracy, accuracy in the ability of the software to provide precise and correct result as needed. And then security, security, the ability of the software to prevent unwanted access, face intruder or hacker, and authorize data modification. And then interoperability. Function of interoperability is the capability of the software to interact with the one or more file. Number two is reliability standard. Reliability standard uh, consists for three elements. Number one is maturity. Maturity is the ability of the software to avoid failures as a result of error in the software. Number two, is a fault tolerance. Fault tolerance is the ability of the software to maintain its performance in the event of the software error. And then recoverability. Recoverability is the ability of the software to rebuild, to rebuild performance level in the event of system failure, including data and network connection. And then usability standard. Usability standard uh, consists for four. Element number one is under, understandability. 
Understandability is the ability of the software in terms of ease of understanding by user. Linear ability, where the software ability to learn easily. And then operability, the ability of the software in terms of ease of operation. And then attractiveness. Attractiveness is the ability of the software to attract user. And number four is efficiency a standard. Efficiency a standard consists of two elements. Number one is time behavior. Time behavior is the ability of the software to provide the appropriate response and processing time when performing its function. And number two is resource behaviors. Resource behavior is the ability of the software to use the resource when performing the specific uh, function or process. Okay, number five is maintainability standard. Maintainability standard consists of four elements. Number one is analyzability, the ability of the software to diagnose differences of causes of failure. And then changeability. Changeability is the ability of the software to be modified certain. And then stability, stability is the capability of the software to minimize the unexpected effect of software modification and testability. Testability is the ability of the software to be modified and validated by other software. And then number six is portability standard. Portability standard consists of four elements. Number one is adaptability, uh, the ability of the software to be adapt to a different environment, installability, Installability is an ability to the software to be installed in different environment. Coexistence. Coexistence is the ability of the software to coexist with other software in an environment by sharing resource. Using a device, using a file, using a folder, uh, concurrent for uh, many user. And number four is Replaceability. Replaceability is the ability of the software to be used as a substitute for all the software. Uh, two software may be same for uh, features, can be substitute uh, one, one application to other application. Okay. Next explainer is a software measurement. The framework for software measurement is based on three principles. Number one is classifying the entities to be examined. Number two is determining relevant measurement goals. Number three is identifying the level of maturity that the organization has reached. Okay. Mainly three classes of entities exist. There is a process, product, and resource. All of these entities have internal as well as external entity. Internal attributes are those that can be measured purely in a term of process, product, and resource itself. For example, size of file, complexity of programming or coding, dependency among module, to use for uh, business process, for example, in uh, sales, for example, in inventory, and other. External attributes are those that can be measured only with respect to so in a relation with the environment. For example, the total number of failure experienced by a user, the length of time it takes to share the database and retrieve information. Okay. Query from data in the database and retrieve uh, information may be different for user in uh, networking or in uh, area with uh, connectivity in local area network or in wide area network. Okay, number one is process. Process. Uh, are collections of software-related activity. The following are, uh, are some of the internal attributes that can be measured directly for a process. 
the duration of the process or one of its activity. Number two is ever as, uh, associated with the process or one of uh, its activity. And number three is the number of incident of a specified the arising during the process or one of its activities. And the different external attribute or process are cost, controllability, effectiveness, quality, and stability. Uh, in the right is a figure. Uh, stage one is planning and analysis. Stage two is design and development. Stage three is testing and modification. Stage four is maintenance. And stage five is delivery. This is a software development process for uh, developing the software. Number two is product. Product are not only the item that the management committed to deliver, but also any artifact or document produced during the software life cycle. The different internal product attributes are size, default, cost, specification, length, functionality, modularity, reuse of module to software, redundancy, and syntactic correctness for a coding. Among these size, effort, and cost are relatively easy to a measure than the other standard. And the different external product attributes are usability, integrity, efficiency, testability, receivability, portability, and interoperability. This attribute describes not only the code for the program, but also the other document that support the development effort. Uh, number three is a resource. There are entity required by a process activity. It can be any input for a software production. It is include personnel, material, tool, and method. The different internal attribute for the resource is age, price, size, speed, memory size, temperature, and edge. And the different external attribute are product uh, productivity, experience, quality, usability, reliability, and comfort. And uh, why uh, determine a relevant measurement goals. A particular measurement will be useful only if it helps to understand the process or one of its resistant product and the environment in the process or product can be performed only when the project has clearly defined goal for process and product. A clear, understand, uh, a clear understanding of goal can be used to generate a, suggestion, a suggested metric for a given project in, in the context of a process maturity framework. This is uh, the goal with the uh, template Goal Question Metric or GQM paradigm. The GQM approach provides a framework with three steps. The first one, listing the major goal of the development or maintenance project, and then the refine the question from its goal that must be answered to determine of the goal are being met. And number two is decide what must be measured in order to be able to answer the question adequately. Okay, this is a format for a goal question metric. Number one is a conceptual level. Conceptual level measure goal involve product, process, and resource. Uh, write the goal, like in this example is goal one, goal two, and next, uh, choose the operation level. Operation level is question try to characterize the object of measurement in the context of qualified issue from a particular view, viewpoint. Uh, this is a uh, question one, question two, question three, question four and question five and H. And then quantitative, uh, quantitative level. Quantitative level is associated with every question 
is a set of data, either subjective or objective, that help provide a quantitative answer. This is a for example to use the goal patients uh, metric uh, GHM paradigm for the training. Look, number one is conceptual level in the apa, up and then organizational level and then production level. It is very uh, techniques. Goal one is reduce the training expense uh, 10%. With strategy one is set a more flexible training program. Goal two is reduce the number of trainee by X. Strategy, the most experienced personnel do not participate in the elementary training activities. And goal three is check the overall training ability. Strategy three is empirically evaluate if there is not any significant difference between those who receive a complete training and the other. Okay, CGM goal, uh, placing in the uh, goal one, goal two, and goal three. Goal one is evaluate the trend in expenses. Goal two is evaluate the reduction in number of training. And goal three is evaluate the overall, the overall training ability of the personnel. So, question for CGM goal in goal one, for example, is what is the current training expense? Question two is what is the percentage of budget cuts for this year, year two and year three or year four? And then evaluate the reduction in the number of training for goal two. Question is, question three, what is the elementary training expense for training? And question four, how many uh, training are experienced? And question five is how many training are not experienced? So in the goal two, uh, have has three questions. And the goal three has three questions. It's question four, question five, and question six. And so the tennis is matrix. Uh, number one is a current training expenses. A is a variable of current training expenses. Uh, kemudian ET, ET is elementary training expenses per trainee, and so on, TA, TNA, and CO. And uh, in the end of column is an uh, interpretation model. Interpretation model uh, compose in the format of if. If blah, 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 then blah, 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 goal is satisfied. Okay. If blah, 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 then blah, 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 goal is satisfied until technical level in the end. Okay, to have to have a generated the goal and metric, Basili and Rombeck provide a series of templates. Number one is purpose, perspective, uh, number two, and environment. Purpose, purpose uh, to characterize, evaluate, predict, motivate, edge. And the process, product, model, metric, and edge in order to understand, assess, manage, engineer, learn, improve, and edge. Example, to characterize the product in order to learn it. Bagaiman, uh, what is the character of the product uh, to learn for a uh, user? Like in the software product, to learn uh, for an uh, end user. And number two is pers perspective. Perspective is, is mine, the cost, effectiveness, correctness, defect, change, product measure, and edge. From the viewpoint of the developer, manager, customer, and ads. Viewpoint uh, for developer is different, for manager is different, for customer. Example, examine the defect from the viewpoint of the customer. Uh, but customer uh, used for the software. Uh, 
expectation for customer to a developer is the software is uh, can use effective and optimal to end user in the organization or in the company. Number three in environment. The environment uh, consists of the following process, factor, people factor, problem. Hello? Okay, for example of environment is the customer of the software are those who have no knowledge about the tools. This is a measurement and process to improve the software. So improvement to the software uh, to achieve the quality of software. Normally, measurement is useful for understanding the process and product for establishing a baseline and for assessing and predicting the outcome. According to the maturity level of the process given by C, the type of measurement and the measurement program will be different. And following are the different measurement program that can be applied at each of the maturity level. In the figure on the right side, number one or level one is initial. The initial uh, where is a process are unpredictable, poorly controlled, and reactive. And level two, process maturity uh, are plain, documented, performed, monitored, and controlled at the project level of the reactive. This process is managed. And then uh, level three is defined. Level three de uh, is defined where the process are well characterized and understood. Process standard procedure tool are defined at the organizational. Uh, example for organizational X level proactive. And level four for process maturity is quantitative, uh, quantitatively managed. Uh, quantitatively managed where the process are controlled using statistical and other quantitative techniques. And level five, in the end of level of process maturity is a process performance continually improve through incremental and innovative technological improvement. Okay, so the software can use optimal, can use uh, efficient for the support of the business process on the organization or uh, company. Number one is initial, uh, this figure explained in the presentation. It is in level two, minutes uh, repeatable process. So this uh, consists of uh, three input, input requirement, control, and resource staff and tool. Control like a budget schedule, and standard. And the level two, where is the process uh, construct the system? And result of the output on the process is a code and documentation for uh, software. And the level three is a define. Define uh, for the process maturity, Input from requirement in the process define and design and design method uh, to be choose for activity for design software and using tool and stuff to define and design. And then process into a system design. Uh, system design to a coding and unit test. Coding and unit test, uh, this input for coder and unit test is inspection criteria, the criteria criteria of inspection for the program 
uh, and input all the input is tool and stuff until then uh, process next to the tested module uh, tested module to integrate module module in the software one module and other module to integrate in uh, one uh, process and this integrate input is test plan and tool and stuff to use for test plan and ending of the level defined for optimal process is software system and then level four is quantitatively managed this is a quantitatively managed reporting requirement from senior management and then to minutes after minutes directive for new employee to quit and test uh, redesign directive to define and design and then to design defect is a problem with early version occur can uh, resolve for the error or uh, defect in the program or software and next for a ready for system and level five optimizing and the optimizing at this level the measure from activity are used to improve the process by removing and ending process activity and change the process structure a structure dynamically in response to measurement feedback thus the process change can affect the organization and the project as well as the process and the process will act as sensor and monitor and we can change the process significantly in response to warning sign at the given maturity level we can collect the measurement for the level and all level level below it okay thank you for my presentation maybe any other question or any question for my presentation thank you mr novita uh, miss novita Uh, if you can raise your hand or you can write in the chat. Okay, for uh, first question, we have question of pick down the easy of what step can be taken to ensure that the software application is reliable and perform consistently under this situation. Okay. Okay, thank you for a question. Uh, what step can be taken to ensure that a software application is reliable and perform consistent under high stress situation? Okay, uh, for high stress uh, situation where the user uh, many end user to use the software or software only in one server. So the hardware to support the software to use a uh, end user to performing their their job uh, is very uh, very strong. So. Uh, what step can be, be taken to ensure that a software application is reliable? Uh, one step is prepare for the user. How many users uh, can use the software and how many users level accessible for the software? Number two, preparation for the hardware 
to support uh, the software uh, for using the high stress situation. So uh, good processor, good random access memory, or good uh, networking connection is support to uh, using uh, the software. And number three, uh, prepare for user. Where the user is adequate, user can learn more practice for the using of the software. So uh, user can perform the jobs and perform of the acts to using the software uh, properly. This is a consistently. This is uh, my answer for Victor Likrikov. Li Li okay, thank you, Mr. Novita. Yeah, thank you for Mr. Migunani and maybe from another audience. You can raise your hand or you can write in the room chat. You can hear my voice, Mr. Migun. Yes, I can okay. hear. Okay, maybe from our audience. Okay, I think. I guess no one else asking again, sir. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, maybe I I will close the event before I close. You will say something before, sir, Mr. Migun. Okay. Thank you, Novita. Uh, maybe my explain. Uh, uh, not uh, for uh, your expectation, or maybe my material uh, presentation is a uh, very or what? Uh, so, uh, in the end of the my ex expectation, apa expression is uh, so uh, use the software in the proper so and user can use the software the proper uh, software can operate good and uh, prepare for uh, supporting for the software to use in uh, end user in the company or in the organization and thank you for this uh, lecturing uh, for the session for Mr. Mr. Dimitro. Okay. Dimitro, okay, Mr. Dimitro. And thank you, Novita. Yeah, thank you. I think we don't have no more question again. Yeah, thank you for our uh, participant to this class today. We hope we can meet again in even in the future. Yeah, thank you so much and have a nice day for everyone. So and bye. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you for all. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye. Yes, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.
Thank you, Dimitro. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Thank you.